Welcome to Whispering Loudly, the award-winning workshop whisperer podcast as featured by Apple with Rachel Evans, the number one automotive business coach in the aftermarket. Thanks to titanium sponsor, Mechanic Desk and gold sponsor, Podium. Whispering Loudly is the workshop whisperer podcast and I'm joined by Rachel Evans, who is your host and she's also 15 seasons in, which makes her a podcast boss, I called you on social media. Do you like that? <laughs> Absolutely. You love being Sounds a amazing. boss. Even though you say you are coachable, I think that you... What do you like more? Do you like being a boss or a student? I like being a boss. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> now, we're going to boss you around a little bit more. doesn't matter which app you listen to us on. If you listen on Spotify, please give us a rating there. You can still rate. But if you are on Apple Podcasts, please... Give us a review. We'd really appreciate it because that helps our podcast and we're bringing you free content all the time. I mean, I say weekly, but you could be listening to 10 episodes in a day. So that's a lot of takeaways. You're probably becoming really friends with us if you are. And we're friends with you too. Okay, Pure Automotive says, this is an awesome podcast. Being new to owning a workshop, listening to Whispering Loudly has helped me think outside the box. I know I can fix cars, but being a businessman is something else. So definitely recommend listening to the pod. He has given you, Rachel Evans, four exclamation marks there. Amazing. Thanks, Rachel, and all your guests. You have so much insight. Five stars from Pure Automotive. Love That's it. a pretty cool name for a brand, by the way. Coming up next, a JFDI. JFDI with the workshop whisperer, Rachel Evans, a coaching masterclass for the brave. JFDI, we are talking about raising prices today, and Rach loves to tell you your worth here on the podcast. I've noticed quite a bit. I absolutely do that. Would you encourage our listeners to look in the mirror every day and tell themselves how great they are? Of course. <laughs> Because you, you can it? quite often go through a day where nobody else tells you. Yeah, that's true, 100%. <laughs> Tell yourself. Definitely. Yes, yeah, cool. You've got to love yourself first. Yeah, and raise your prices. Yes. Yeah. And I think this is so topical and it doesn't matter where in the world you are when you listen to this or when it is, even five years after we record this, when – you have a situation like many countries in the world do now post-COVID where there's roaring inflation and your prices are still back in 2020 or maybe they're back in 2005 because it's been that long since yeah. you've actually you know, raised your price. And that will be out of fear, fear that if you put your prices up even you know, slightly, that customers will go somewhere else. And it's just not the case. As long as you're, you know, not silly about it and uh, and go way over the top, your customers are going to stay with you. Now, there's situation at the moment where there's huge inflation, cost of fuel alone is just astronomical. 100%. And, you know, we work in the auto aftermarket. Uh, fuel is involved in you getting to work, in loaning out your loan vehicles, in taking cars for test drives mm. and all this kind of thing. Yeah. And your suppliers, make no doubt about it, are increasing their prices, their yes. freight costs. Yeah. If you have lots of things freighted. Basically, if you got the part ordered in specially or whether you didn't and it's just come from around the corner from the part supplier, that part got there somehow and you are going to be charged accordingly given these increased costs that, are happening at the moment just through freight alone but the general cost of living has risen and businesses are looking to recoup the costs that they're now paying out so that it doesn't damage their bottom line and even though you might not think that this applies to us in the auto aftermarket it absolutely 1000 percent does so what happens if there's even just normal inflation you know low inflation of a percent or two in a year and you don't change your prices, then you have an erosion of your profit of one to two percent uh, because you haven't moved with inflation like your suppliers will. Now, in most years, especially in Australia, there'll be an increase to the minimum wage and we work under an award structure and many of our apprentices and tradespeople are on award wages and that increase to the minimum wage means that their wages go up. 
And again, if you're not moving what you charge up in line with that, then that money just gets eroded from your bank account. You never see it. So it's super important that um, you move with what's going on in the economy. And at the moment, you really need to be considering extra expenses that you're incurring at the moment. And you need to factor that into your pricing. So it is a, a worth thing, understanding what you're worth and charging what you're worth, first of all. But right now, it's really important that you understand the economic issues at play and understand how there will be less money for you to run your business with at the end of the day if you don't do these basic reactionary measures to what's going on in the economy. Yeah, and you might be trepidatious because, you know, of that constriction mindset that's going on at the moment. But just think about your auto repair shop and how hard you've worked on it and your family for so many years and the people who've worked with you. You need to value that. Absolutely. And why would you work so hard? only to make less money as time goes on. That doesn't even make sense at all. I think that's why you get good reviews on Apple Podcasts, Rach, because your JFDIs are very good. What did you say? It's mainly about procrastination and... Procrastination and control freaks. (laughs) That's what happens when we're not JFDIing it. Listen to another one now or maybe listen to a Workshop Whispers episode where we hear directly from you guys and then solve the problems of your auto repair shop. Or if you want to get some feedback from other auto repair shop owners, join our closed Facebook group. How can they do that, Rach? So you simply go to Facebook and you look up your profitable auto repair shop or YPARS for short, letter Y, P-A-R-S. And in there, you'll find uh, about three and a half thousand auto repair shop owners from all around the world, actually, and a huge contingent from Australia and New Zealand who are looking for best practice and are also sharing best practice every single day. That's amazing. And, you know, community does make us stronger. So make sure you join ours. Thank you so much for listening today. Whispering Loudly, the Workshop Whisperer podcast with Rachel Evans. Thanks for listening to Whispering Loudly, the award-winning workshop whisperer podcast as featured by apple with rachel evans the number one automotive business coach in the aftermarket thanks to titanium sponsor mechanic desk and gold sponsor podium